Hey, what's up, guys? This is EA Sports Game Changer Shopmaster diving into the NCAA Football 14 demo. I, I just downloaded, so I haven't really played it all that much. I did play at E3 uh, last week, and um, it was pretty smooth. And I want to say that that was pretty much near the the final um, version of the game. So uh, we'll we'll see what happens um, and how this game stacks up, but. Let's just go through some of the stuff uh, in the demo and some of the stuff that I feel is uh, that NCAA is doing real good. One of the first things you'll notice is, you know, you got to share the demo because if you share it, you'll, you'll unlock some, some cool things. Um, you got to check out what's new in gameplay. And like I said, they'll talk about the acceleration burst, which is pretty good in both NCAA football and Madden. Uh, it really sort of um, instead. I mean, I know it's just the speed burst, but the fact that you're able to do it, and especially if you hold down LT or L2 to sort of set up a hesitation move, uh, and then speed burst, it, it makes it a, a little bit better. Uh, the ball hawk <coughs> actually has been uh, toned down this year for both NCAA football and. Um, Madden NFL 25 so before last year you could just hold the Y at the snap of the ball or the triangle if you're on the PS3 at the snap of the ball and it will automatically activate ball hawk so as soon as the ball comes in the area you will ball hawk well this year now you sort of have to time it you have to be in you know proximity to be able to press uh, triangle or Y and what I think it does, it just tones Ball Hawk down. And I think that was one of the big complaints of the community last year, that Ball Hawk was just too overpowered. So it's good to see that toned down. Uh, the new combo moves, um, you know, the combo moves. Uh, the, the What makes it better this year is the new foot planting and the fact that the Infinity Engine is now in NCAA Football 14. So that should make the combo moves a little bit better. Uh, force impact uh, the the stiff arm is just going to be uh, probably one of the best ball carrier moves in both NCAA football and Madden NFL 25. I love the stiff arm in Madden. Uh, the truck moves, if you're a big um, ball carrier, uh, are, are also pretty good. Uh, force impact tackling, you'll notice now you'll have more tackling animations than ever before. Uh, there's a new hit stick, uh, which, because of the force impact system, makes those uh, hits even deadlier and, and fun to do. Uh, hard cuts. Now, this is, <coughs> um, I feel, this is something that I feel is a little bit, I won't say misleading, uh, because you can make hard cuts, but you can't make cuts like you used to last year. So, momentum and... Um, along with uh, the the proper foot planning, makes it hard for you to sort of just uh, zoop around somebody and, and make that stop on the dime and, and lose a defender. Because I tried that a couple times yesterday when I was playing Mad Scientist, and I'd stop on the dime, you know, for the defender to go past. But because of my momentum, you know, he didn't stop right away. You know, it was a you know, I'm stopping, but I have to sort of gather myself, which is more realistic now. Uh, new hurdle interactions. Uh, man, in Madden NFL 25, the hurdle reaction, the hurdles are, are no joke. Um, so I have to test this out in NCAA Football 14. haven't really got a chance to uh, do any new hurdles. Uh, we already talked about the Infinity Engine. Um, over 30 new option types. Uh, what I like this year is they sort of teach you how to run the option. And not only do they have the option, but now they have sort of like the shovel uh, where you can shovel to the uh, inside or you can keep it with the quarterback and then pitch it to the outside. So there are 30 new option types. The Nike Skills Trainer is where you'll learn all the new moves, all the new hot routes, you know, all the new, you know, combo moves and You'll even learn how to ball hawk um, if you're new to NCAA football. So skills trainer is really in-depth. Um, you can spend a lot of good time in there. And you'll also unlock some stuff 
if you're good at it. Um, new run blocking AI. <clears throat> In both the games, the run blocking has been modified. Uh, I mean, it's it's just a lot better than last year. It's going to be fun running the ball this year. I know a lot of people are a little bit worried about the Infinity Engine, but the Infinity Engine is not the same Infinity Engine that was in Madden 13. So what you'll get is you'll get Infinity Engine 2.0, which will allow you to do a lot of the the inside running that you really couldn't do, you know, before. So now when you run it inside, you know, your guys will put his hand out and sort of won't just run into the back of your lineman and fall down. So running inside is, is good, and especially when you got the new blocking, it's even better. Uh, so now they got a spread option playbook for multiple options. Uh, you got up-tempo, uh, use an up-tempo uh, style uh, to sort of throw your your defend, defenders off. Uh, Oregon is the perfect team to use in, in that kind of situation. Uh, there's a new stamina uh, system, so the new stamina system allows you to see how much energy your players are exerting on a given play, and it's identified by the circle underneath that player's uh, body. And after every play, that energy or that new stamina system gets reset, so it's it's not the full thing. Uh, stumble recovery. This is a great item, especially if you're using a small back and he's going through the hole. They might get tripped up, and he'll start to stumble. If you flick the R uh, stick up, you know, he'll, you know, try to regain his, um, no, if you stick it down, he'll try to, R stick it down, he'll try to recover. And if you R stick up, he'll just like die for more yards. So you'll be falling down and let's say you just need like another yard to go. He'll actually, if you flick it up, he'll actually like reach out and, and get that yard uh, instead of just falling flat. Uh, new player playable camera angle. So uh, the big one about this is that the new coordinator cam is like that. And I don't know if we can play it in the demo, but definitely make sure when you get the game to check out the the coordinator cam. I think there's a couple videos up on YouTube taken at E3, um, and I, I'll see if I can post that in the link, but. Man, the coordinator cam is, is a pretty good camera angle. And so they also have a new zoom wide and broadcast cam as, as well. Um, and join, tweet them out at EA NCAA football and let them know what you think. Let me know what you think. So let's just hop into like, hop into a game real quick. All right, go to play now. And so right now you can do the Nike skills trainer. Uh, you can do Ohio State versus Michigan, Alabama versus Virginia Tech, Oregon versus Texas A&M. And for this video, I'm just going to do a little bit of the skills trainer. And then in another video, I'll come back and we'll play uh, as one of the teams. But I want to show you this new skills trainer. I spent at E3, I must have spent maybe 45 minutes to an hour playing the skills trainer and all the different things that you can do. But there's one particular um, training that I want to just emphasize because I think it'll be very useful and that's the I forgot what they call it but it's the pitch and the shovel um, so this is a new uh, option type in NCAA football 14 where you can sort of shovel uh, <coughs> here it is it's the shovel option so you can sort of shovel it or you can keep it and then pitch it so let's just go through the tutorial real quick So there you go. So what you want to do is you want to read uh, the P over somebody's head means that they're responsible for the pitch. So when that guy steps up and the other guy sort of steps up, then what you want to do is you want to uh, make sure that you shovel the ball the right way. So here we're going to the other side, same way the guy steps up. Oh, I pitched it too, too late. Let's go. Uh. Ready, red, 
So see how he took that guy? So now you read the pitch, pitch man, and the pitch man actually took the, uh, the shovel guy. So what you want to do is you want to keep it, and then when the other guy comes towards you, you want to shovel it, I mean, pitch it to your back. So he goes there, he goes there, oh. He takes that guy. Man, that's a pretty athletic defensive end. So that's what I, so now you sort of try in real life. Okay. I try to, try to read the, read the, And I'll tell you, you'll you'll get you'll get used to it. You'll get used to making the right decision. Now, I will say this: in, in an actual game, you won't see, especially if you're. I think when you're playing head to head versus somebody, you won't see the um, the P over top of people's heads. So you need to go in here and definitely. Um, make sure you know what you're doing so that when you get in that situation that you want to run this play, that you uh, run it effectively. So I'm doing pretty good. But I made the right decision that time. So it's all about making the right decision. They have this sort of thing in uh, Madden as well. Where you can see the pitch guy and, and the running guy. It's all about making the right decision. It's all about reading. You can't go into the play feeling like you already know what you want to do. You have to read that guy. Make sure, you know, that he commits one way or another. So, there you go. I got 9 out of 10. Got my gold. So, it goes to the next one. So, Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the NCAA Football 14 demo. Do you like it? What don't you like about it? If there's something that you see wrong with it, let me know. As an EA Sports Game Changer, what I'm here to do is sort of help the community get them to, you know, let you guys tell me what you feel is still wrong with the game and let me get it back to EA. So maybe it's something... Like, if, you, if it's something really glaring, that could be included in a patch. So, make sure you play the game, give your honest opinion, and uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you guys later.